made my homemade chicken soup for dinner tonight. Sneak boy disappeared for a hot minute and I asked him where he went and he didn't answer and he got me roses. Oh my god, I'm so lucky. Hello everyone, welcome to today's vlog. I am currently at Liz's place working from here for a change of pace and to be honest it worked out exactly as we hoped because it's only 12 40 and i already like did my morning like to do as well english you can tell i haven't spoke much this morning um morning to do is done which is like going through and replying to you guys on youtube all the comments on both my channels uh instagram comments as well stuff like that um, and then also I edited a skincare video and got it uploaded all within like three hours, which is so much more productive than I usually am first thing in the morning. So I'm glad I came here. Here's Liz! <laughs> <laughs> We're kind of like in pajamas and whatnot. Like I just kind of woke up at 8 a.m., laid in a ball on my couch for 20 minutes and then walked over here and uh yeah i didn't do my hair or anything but i came here and put a little bit of makeup on because i for some reason i feel like i'm more productive if i get ready to a degree specifically with makeup like if i don't have makeup on i just even like the smallest amount i feel like i'm consistently in like not work mode you know so anyway that's today just hanging out and working that's it just working okay so i'm here on youtube searching skincare and the first thing that pops up is an extremely aggressive push for one really big like skincare youtuber and it's like what has become of youtube like you used to be able to search like a keyword and you would actually get like results from like random people but it's literally like this disgusting push for one youtuber that's just blown up and this is like not a search result this is just youtube really pushing this one influencer and it kind of like is really disappointing and kind of takes away the hope for any other like youtuber who isn't this specific person honestly or associated with this person so i'm going to task you guys in the vlog if it interests you to just search the term skincare in the youtube search bar and see if this youtuber pops up for you i'm not going to say any names because i don't want to be like like that but it's it's really bothering me like i want to see skincare videos not this one influencer and it's like i'm seeing one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten videos from them taking up my entire scroll screen plus the first header is just subscribe to this person's channel like this youtuber does not define skincare and it's really disappointing to see this from youtube now like again that's kind of that's how long it's been since i've searched something on youtube but i don't know why it's been that long but the last time i did search a word on youtube it wasn't like this and this is just really disappointing i'm all done working at liz's uh she's gonna walk me home <laughs> and we're just going through distillery district right now which is where we always walk through apparently Breakfast today is leftover Korean inspired salmon, which is one of my go-to original recipes. I will link the video that contains the recipe in the cards above and in the description box if you guys are curious. A lot of you said this is like your new go-to recipe as well, honestly. Like if you have salmon like this, you don't go back. It's so good. And then I have broccoli steamed in the microwave and have a Japanese sweet potato in the microwave. It's super quick and easy because I don't feel like cooking today because I just have been so busy this morning doing random tasks. <laughs> I came into the shower to record a voiceover for a TikTok because <laughs> my boyfriend's on the phone and my cat came with me. <laughs> 
Also, I don't think I told you guys. No, I don't think I did. Maybe I did. I don't think I did though. Um, my cat has an obsession, like most cats, with the bathroom sink and demanding we turn on the tap for him for water. And he never used to have this habit until there was one day in the summer that I stayed home at my family's for eight days. And in that time, my boyfriend was desperate to entertain the cat because he was upset that I was gone. Uh, so it resulted in a lot of catnip and a lot of leaving the tap dripping for the cat to entertain himself. <laughs> and that became an obsession, which became daily and constant demands from the cat. So first thing in the morning when I'd wake up, he'd go to the bathroom and start yelling that he wants the sink turned on. And that would be on and off throughout the entire day. And it was just getting really... Um, hard to manage and obviously not economical for the environment with that much water even though we did let it drip just a little bit but then you'd forget you had it on and it's just not very good so long story short i decided we needed to get him a little tub that he can splash in and lick and he hasn't really played in it much like he's definitely a cat that prefers to do things if someone's watching him you know so like Honestly, we would fill it up like halfway and he would just like splash in it and he'd come out soaked Which is great because it means he has super clean paws, but at the same time uh, It did get a little bit messy So we decided to keep it in the shower so that when he does splash It doesn't make a mess of the bathroom floor and instead it keeps the mess in the shower Fortunately for us, we have two Two oh. We have two full showers, so one of this shower, honestly, like we never use it. It's basically the cat's shower for him to splash in, but yeah. If you have a cat that is obsessed and very highly demanding of playing with the bathroom faucets or faucets in general, honestly, just get them a litter, a little litter bin or a tray and just fill it with water and then put like some like hair ties in it and they'll be entertained. Good morning everyone. Today I have a photo shoot with Liz. So I'm up early using my high frequency device to de-puff and tighten my skin. I love this. I'm running out of like resistant or anti-resistant oil. <laughs> my skin's pulling a bit too much, but yeah, I love using this to de-swell my face and tighten my skin. It's like one of my little beauty hacks and I woke up with a nice pimple. Yeah, I'm doing that today. I'll bring you guys with me and try to get more footage than I usually do when I'm at photo shoots with Liz. Um, yeah. So we're at the studio now. It's so pretty. Like, what? So this is loved or loft. I don't know how you spell it. Loft. But it's spelled with a V, so it uh, tricks you when you're searching it up. And it's nice. Liz and I finished shooting. We had this space for four hours to do some work shooting and then bonus shooting for me uh, for my Instagram feed, which I always love. She's the best photographer. So if any of you guys are in the Toronto area, I see you. Hi. Honestly, she always makes me look good. Like whenever she takes pictures of me, I'm like every single photo is good. And then I get like my boyfriend to take photos of me. And I'm like, I didn't realize I looked this bad. But yeah, no, Liz is the best. So definitely check her out if you are looking for a photographer that specializes in like content for your Instagram feed or your business, anything, especially if you're keen on having good angles and good shots of you, check it out. So I'm home from the photo shoot. I woke up at 7.30 a.m. and we finished at two, I think? No, maybe, maybe like 2.30, I don't know. And then I went and did some mailing and stuff, got home at four, ate at like just before five and <laughs> I was telling my boyfriend, but I didn't eat anything today. So like I brought like a small packet of chickpeas to the shoot. So all I had today was like a, maybe a handful's worth of dried chickpeas. 
not dried, but roasted. Um, so going from 7.30 a.m. till 4.30 without any food, plus actually like being up moving around a lot was a lot. Like if I'm at home sitting on the couch or at my desk not moving for the whole day and I don't eat till four, it's usually like not that big of a deal. Like I don't really feel it too much, but boy, did I feel it. So I feel like I eat a whole day worth of calories in one sitting and I'm so aggressively full right now because I just shoveled food into my mouth so fast. I couldn't help it. I couldn't help it. But yeah. Anyway, I'm just going to veg out for the rest of the night. Usually I stream in the evenings, but I'm just so tired. I'm so tired. But I hope you guys enjoyed ha seeing more of a snippet of what a photo shoot is kind of like. Of course, I didn't really get behind the scenes like photos being taken of me because everyone is busy no one has available hands as photos being taken and whatnot but um i tried to get a little more footage of like the in-betweens of what was going on and it was a lot of fun so i think that campaign those photos were for joe boxer and some other company i don't know but yeah that's what it was like Hey guys, today I have a wig on. I don't get how people can wear long hair wigs all day because it's been since, I don't know, 10 a.m. And it's probably like one o'clock now. And it's like heavy, like it kind of sore, like it's a little sore around my hairline where the wig cap is holding it. And I don't know, like it looks great, even though this is a really cheap synthetic wig that I got off Amazon for like 40 bucks. Um, like it's fun and I love the look, but like, it's a little bit like that. The lace that's cut around my ears is a little itchy. And like, it's hot and it's heavy. I mean, obviously this is way too long, like unnecessarily long, but. I don't know, it's fun. It's fun imagining my hair is naturally this thick and fabulous and healthy. <laughs> yeah, it's not the best quality wig. Like the part I never plucked, like I didn't finish plucking it and it's unnaturally dense up at the top and like it knots extremely easily, like way too easily to wear for a full day. Like the amount of times I comb it and then it pretty much knots immediately after. But for $40, it's pretty fun to throw on for videos or any kind of shoot to change it up. But yeah, anyway, my day has been streaming in the morning Then I filmed three videos um, and then that's it, that's it. And then took a few photos for IG, um, getting sweaty because the sun is finally out today and the sun never shines. Like it's been probably two weeks since we had a full day of direct sunlight and not like clouds and overcast. It's like the one negative thing about winter in Canada is it's very dismal. Um, but yeah, we have no coffee. So I've survived today with two large cups of Earl Grey tea, which has done a pretty decent job for keeping me caffeinated considering I really strongly need coffee. Um, yeah, so otherwise for the rest of the day, I think my boyfriend and I are gonna go to the grocery store soon and get some stuff. And then what I would love to do today is have homemade hot pot for dinner using our hot pot that we have, but I need to look up some recipes. Um, but anyway, I can't remember the reason why I came on vlog to talk to you guys. Oh yeah, um, I wanted to ask you guys for help. I want to redo my desk. Like, as you can see, it's a, it's a bit chaotic. The wires underneath, like I said before. So if you have any recommendations or if you know any influencers that specialize in talking about their desk or getting a better desk layout, I would love if you could send those to me, link them to me, or if you have any personal recommendations, I really just wanna have a better structured, organized desk working space so that I feel more inclined to stay there during the day and my feet, like I don't get annoyed that my feet are kicking into battery packs and chargers and wires and that my desk is easily more organized because right now I just, I don't have space on it for put, keeping the things on it that I need on it. Like my, my notebook I need on it. I need my like drinks, my coffee, my mouse, my makeup brushes I would love to actually have in my desk drawer, but in like a slightly slanted stacking case that it fits in the drawer but like I can still access them very easily um 
and yeah, also having something to organize the wires as well. Like I tried looking up a few things, but like they don't work with my desk that I have because it's not an actual working desk, it's a vanity desk. I actually want to get rid of that mirror. I'm tired of it. I don't like the look of it anymore and replace it with something like a little bit more maybe a little smaller and more pleasing because I don't need that much mirror space there and I feel like it occupies a lot of space so I don't have enough space for actually like working <laughs> and I feel like this was good when I was getting ready for work every day but now that I work from home I don't need that much mirror you know so I would love to like sell it and get a better one still with lights around it ideally but like do it myself lights like that one's a do it yourself light and it's perfect but it just doesn't really work it takes up too much space I don't know I don't know but yeah if you guys have any recommendations please um, let me know in the comment section um, or message me appreciate it. I'm having chicken soup and natto for lunch I am making my first ever homemade hot pot. We are doing sukiyaki, but I didn't have all the proper ingredients for sukiyaki, so to substitute mirin and sake, I used <laughs> red wine. <laughs> and then also, um, I didn't have enough soy sauce, but I have like really strong soy sauce, so hopefully that works. And then for the second flavor that we have, it's Korean beef broth stock but I didn't realize how small the serving would be in the hot pot pot so it didn't seem like quite enough so I added an additional cup of water and because it's a Korean soup stock I added duenjang so it's basically like a different version of miso paste so it's essentially going to be a miso bone broth or not bone beef broth soup and then I added a splash of sesame oil into each broth because I love sesame oil in my soups like it doesn't even matter what cultural soup it is just add sesame oil and it turns everything amazing um, for the vegetables and whatnot we have we have Napa cabbage which we're obsessed with since we moved in we have daikon radish a little bit of carrots uh, like three sticks of broccolini Enoki mushrooms that I like and then we have what are these even called? I don't know these Mushrooms for honey boy because he doesn't like enoki mushrooms. Then we have lamb Which was my mistake when I bought this I didn't realize it was lamb because it was in the beef section So someone put it in the wrong section and I happened to grab it and then we have some cheap beef like thinly sliced um, round eye eye round it was called. I was hoping for ribeye, but the entire butcher section of my local grocery store was completely closed down, so there really wasn't many options. So I'm hoping it will give me a similar effect to if I had thinly shaved ribeye beef. And then we have a few pork and green onion dumplings to add into that as well. I also wanted to add tofu, because I love tofu in my hot pots, but they were all, I don't know what's up with my local grocery store. Sorry, I'm just turning up the heat on the hot pot. Like, I don't know what's wrong with my local grocery store. It must be like they're really out of stock of everything from the holiday season because there's like nothing there. They had no tofu, which was unfortunate. So no tofu. I have some thin rice noodles for me because I like thin noodles. And then I have big chunky Japanese udon noodles for Honey Boy because he loves thick noodles and then kimchi as well because i love kimchi all the time so yeah that's gonna be our at home hot pot and if you're wondering about where i got this hot pot hot pot i got it from the galleria supermarket in north york so if you're wondering where you can get a dish like that for a reasonable price i think we only paid like 14 dollars for it it was from the Galleria. Well, on Amazon, they wanted $50 and plus for the divider hot pot pod, which was outrageous. And also the little portable grill that I have, I got on Amazon in the summer, but the Galleria supermarket in North York had tons of them 
for a cheaper cost. So if you're looking for anything like Korean barbecue at home, Japanese barbecue at home, uh, portable stoves, anything like that, get it at the Galleria Supermarket in North York. Or of course, if you don't live in the Toronto area, you can just get it on Amazon. But I have noticed since going to that supermarket, that the upcharge on Amazon is quite ridiculous. So yeah, I'm gonna enjoy my dinner now. To uh, tape our carpet to our floor because our cat <laughs> he's crazy and keeps like just charging at it and shoving his legs under it and I fix it every time I walk by I pull and I fix it and then he just goes right back <laughs> and fixes it. you guys I got this super cute keyboard off Amazon, which I'm really excited about because I used to use an external keyboard to work from, which was for Apple, but when I got a PC, it no longer worked for PC, and then I just never used it again. Oh wait, no. Yeah, no, it, it didn't work with my PC, which was the weirdest thing because it was a Bluetooth. I don't know, but finally I decided to get a, a USB keyboard and it's so cute it's like this really soft pastel pink and it apparently lights up at the back i'll link it for you guys in the description box below so if you're curious on getting a super cute keyboard you can get it Hey guys, today I am making my chicken soup that is pretty much my boyfriend's mom's recipe with a little twist on it. Um, so I'm gonna take you guys along and show you how I make it. One whole onion cut in half, two large carrots diced roughly, or I guess you could say chopped roughly, half a daikon radish cut into quarters, a few stalks of celery cut into cubes, four bone in skin on chicken thighs garlic to taste i usually put about maybe half a tablespoon's worth in maybe a little bit less that all in a large soup bowl with the bottom in a generous layer of sesame oil heaping tablespoons of limpton consomme mix can't find consomme used chicken stock it's the closest thing i'm honestly not too sure what the difference is i think consomme is quite honestly just a mixture of chicken stock with vegetable stock like I'm pretty sure that's what it is okay what makes it different I think is the fact that it has turmeric in there onion powder miscellaneous mystery spices yeah I'm I'm guessing it's the turmeric and onion powder the grocery store actually hasn't had consomme in a while which is odd so I bought this as an alternative until we're able to find consomme again it seems similar because it shows <laughs> vegetables on there i don't know i hope it's similar let's see the ingredients and da, 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 da. yeah there is no turmeric in here so i'm assuming turmeric is a big game changer black pepper to taste i generally don't like a lot so i add like the smallest amount just to give a hint of black pepper the secret to this recipe is a lot of fresh dill this will change your chicken soup game generally this recipe without dill is a pretty traditional chicken soup recipe but the flavor completely changes when you add dill and it gets you addicted so a generous amount of fresh dill make sure it's fresh although dill can go bad in the fridge i like to freeze it because i don't use it fast enough I like to let that kind of pan sear and caramelize a little bit on the bottom before I fill water all the way to the edge of the rim with a little bit of space left over and that's it. I add a little bit of lemon juice to help give it a little bit of a citrus flair to it. Of course you can use fresh lemons but I rarely have those on hand so this concentrate lemon works just the same. 
And we got some nice browning on that onion to help give a little more of a sweet flavor. It's a white onion. I can't remember if I said that. But yeah, so game changers for a homemade chicken soup is definitely using consomme instead of standard chicken broth. The dill and a large amount of dill and also sesame oil and a little bit of lemon juice. And if you haven't already used mainly chicken with skin and bone in, that also completely changes the flavor and makes it way more delicious. I let that cook until I feel like it's ready. I feel like generally 30 minutes on, like I bring it to a boil, then I turn down to a low simmer and I just let that cook until I feel like the chicken is cooked all the way through essentially. And until my carrots become soft, that's a real indicator for me is once those carrots are soft, I don't like my carrots to be firm whatsoever. And yeah, then I serve it just kind of with whatever, sometimes with rice, sometimes with bread, sometimes just the soup on its own. And it's really an addiction for us, so please try it out and let me know what you think all finished cooking everything is nice and soft look at the glistening flavor umami pockets on the top of that soup oh, i was so excited stuffed my soup with this spicy chili oil sauce and stuff i know you can make this yourself but i wanted to uh, just buy one can't be bothered to buy that many chilies put that in there with some suit nuts or mini croutons as you guys told me, they're actually called soup nuts. Now I can't stop calling them soup nuts. They're so addicting. I love it. And then one of the chicken breasts, I just have ripped up on the side so I can pick at it. Yeah. I also love using, like, Asian-style soup spoons because, like, they're just so much better for eating soup. Okay. It's probably going to be too hot for me. Ooh, that chili oil makes it so good. Mm. Mm. Oh my God. So my boyfriend and I are both obsessed with this chili oil now and we can't get enough of it. It's not even super spicy, but I'm having my chicken soup today with a bunch of chili oil in it. And I added some skinny rice noodles for a little more consistency in it. And I put it in this Korean stone bowl because it's a bigger bowl than my usual glass bowls. And I find whenever I eat soup, I have more than one bowl. So hopefully this slightly bigger bowl will give me what I want and what I need in my soup. Are you wiggly? Yeah? <laughs> don't do it, don't do it. Sometimes, I don't know if anyone else's cat does it, but he'll be, don't do it. Hey, don't, don't bite my buttons. Like, my cat has these random bursts of, I call them being wiggly, where he'll be like chilling, sleeping, totally calm, and then he'll just start like rolling around randomly and going, ooh, 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 ooh. and then licking himself. That's usually when I kick him out, because I don't know. The sound of licking drives me insane, and I just, I can't. You may think, why would you get a cat? That's all they do. I, I know, I know. So he's gonna get the boot. Thank you.